God. Sorry, I just nearly swallowed you all up. Ooh. Anyway, good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing pretty well. That's still too hot. Whoa. So I've got quite an exciting day today. We, me and Emmanuel, as in we, are actually heading to Edinburgh just for the day. So we've decided to just go for the day. We're gonna drive up, it's nice and early. It's currently like half seven. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> it's currently about half past seven in the morning. Um, I am just, I need my coffee, otherwise I'm not gonna function. But we are gonna be driving up to Edinburgh, which is about two hours away, I wanna say, um, and just spending the day there. And we're gonna drive back tonight, so. Yeah, it should be fun. I've got like a little list of things. I've been on TikTok showing like, and people have told me what I need to be looking for and what I need to be doing. So I, I do realise that you probably can't see or like get the best out of Edinburgh in just one day, but it's the only day that we have off together. Um, and obviously due to like work commitments and stuff, we can't, like we haven't got enough time to stay over and whatnot. And it's a lot cheaper just driving up and then driving back down and luckily, we're close enough to be able to do that. So I think that's one of the things I do love about Newcastle is that you're like pretty much so close to, like you're so close to loads of things. So obviously you, you, we're close to a beach. We've got a good like city centre. We're close to Edinburgh or like Scotland in general. We're close to the Lake District, just, yeah. I need to pack some snacks and stuff for the car. You guys are well aware that I've been working on a healthier lifestyle for myself. Today's sponsor is the easiest way that I've been prioritising my health recently. I have spoken about them before and I've been using them for a little while now. It is the clinically backed Ritual Essential for Women Multivitamin 18 Plus, which is formulated to fill nutrient gaps in a woman's diet. So like I say, I've been taking the Essential for Women Multivitamin 18 Plus, which is for women ages 18 to 49. I think what made me choose Ritual over like other brands is that they go above and beyond in verifying their products. So this one is USP verified, which is a third party certification which sets the highest bar for product transparency. And did you know only 1% of multivitamins have earned that mark? So the USP have tested and verified the ingredients, potency and manufacturing process. And they've also verified Ritual's claims about nutrient levels, the availability to be absorbed, including levels of impurities like heavy, met heavy metals and unwanted ingredients. So that's that's all been verified. So I feel confident in taking these on a daily basis. But not only that, you can also tell that Ritual have put a lot of thought into their capsule design. They've actually created a delayed release capsule, which is, sh which is shown to dissolve later in the small intestine, which is the one of the optimal places for nutrient absorption. They're designed to be gentle on the stomach and can be taken any time of day with or without food. So you can literally fit these into any day daily routine. They're even essence with mint, so they smell nice too. They've been so kind to provide me with the code at slice of just 25 to get 25% off your first order. And they're so confident in their product that if you don't like Ritual within the first 30 days, then your first order's on them. There's a QR code on the screen right now, which can take you through to their website, or I'll leave a link in the description below. So you can go and check them out for yourself. Thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now I really need to go and get myself ready to go to Edinburgh. Right, can you even see me? Okay, yeah. This is my outfit of the day. This jumpsuit you might recognise from an H&M haul. Um, I actually ended up ordering it two sizes smaller and it fits perfect. So yeah, and it fits to the point where like my bra's not constantly showing. But I did swap out the belt for my own and then I'm just wearing like a denim jacket. I'm not sure on these trainers, but I don't know. Um, and then I've just got like a bag. So I am ready. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna head out soon. We're gonna stop off somewhere for breakfast on the way. Um, don't know where or whether we're just gonna wait until we get there, I don't know. But yeah, exciting stuff, I'll see you in the car. Days without water Along the sun so grown Cross over borders to get where we are, and it's all for you. It's all 
So we've arrived in Scotland. We're actually in, is it Leith or Leith? I think it's Leith. 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 And we've come to a place called Cafe Marmalade. Um, for, well, we said breakfast, but it's kind of lunch now, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I still have a breakfast. <laughs> yeah, we've ordered breakfast. You've ordered the full Scottish, Scottish breakfast, breakfast, which has haggis on it. And I wasn't sure. I googled what haggis was, and I'm not sure I want to try that. <laughs> <laughs> and I've ordered like a custom kind of breakfast with like sausages, bacon, that kind of thing. So, yeah, and the toast's just come. So, mm. nice. <laughs> Just come. So try the, try the hag. That's like a potato thing. What was that? Potato scone. Yeah. So this is the black pudding. I don't even like black pudding. Why yeah. did I? I thought <laughs> there was no black pudding. I thought you said it was. In. Try the. I want you to try the haggis. Right. <laughs> so we can see what it's like. This yes. Yeah. So it's quite a big like Scottish thing, haggis. I think. No. You don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it. Oh well. I'll say you tried it though. But it's nice. <laughs> well. And then You wanna try it? No, I'm alright, thank you. You you really sold it no, to no, me, no, it's so nice. try, no. it. try it. So you this is like So this is mine, which I've just like I say gone for it's quite small actually to pivot, but then I've got the toast as well. So yeah. And as you can probably see by my glasses, it's just started pouring rain. Mm -hmm. But it's sunny still. I mean, the sun just came out now, though. No. Well, true, yeah, but it is absolutely freezing. But we've just come to see the docks. Yeah, we've just come down to see the docks, which looks quite nice. So, yeah, so we're going to have a little look around here and then probably drive to the city centre for a bit. And. Yeah, I've got three three things that I found on TikTok that I think we should do. So as long as the weather's not horrible, it should be quite a nice day. Yep. <laughs> right, we've had a look around the docks. There wasn't really much to see, if I'm honest. We just got a bit wet. It was rain, rained quite a lot, didn't yeah, it? It was really windy. So windy. we're going to drive to kind of the city centre um, and have a little bit more of a look around there. Um, I think we're going to have a look at Edinburgh Castle, but we're not going to go in because the admissions are like 20 quid each. Yeah. And then um, there's another place called like, Com what is it? Camera Optical? Camera Obsecure. Obsecure. It's like an optical illusion place, which sounds quite cool. So I think we're going to go in there because that's, I think, around the same price. Um, so we kind of wanted to do one or the other. Um, so we're going to go into there. And there's also that hill you're talking oh, about. Oh yeah, hill, I can't yeah. remember what it is, but there's a hill that you can go up, which you basically see like, see like the whole of Edinburgh. So we're gonna have a look around there as well. And that, yeah. Um, and yeah, so we're just driving and gonna try and find a place to park. It's like a fun fair on. Oh shit! Like a fun fair on here. <laughs> it's a bit like the hoppings. So yeah, we're gonna, like I say, go around the city centre, just have a little wander around as well, um, and just see what's about. And yeah, we'll be heading home later on. <laughs> One thing I will say about Edinburgh is that the buildings are absolutely stunning. So all like everywhere you look is just like historic buildings and we've just got out of the car because we finally found somewhere to park quite near Edinburgh Castle and this is what we're looking at which is so nice I don't know what he's doing <laughs> taking photos of everything um, but yeah we're gonna have a wander up to um, the castle it's quite windy I'm cold I should have brought a jumper. <laughs> Yeah. Do you want my jacket? No, I'm all right. Thank Are you, you sure? Yeah. All right, keep coming tough. Yeah. Tough girl. <laughs> tough girl. <start> freezing. <laughs> oh yeah, that camera place, the optical illusion place, says that it's fully booked, which is such a shame. But we're going to try and walk in anyway and see whether they've got any spare slots. Um, but do you know which way we're actually going? No clue. Okay. Um, no. I thought you didn't. <laughs> 
I'm assuming it's that way. <laughs> oh, it's just started raining again. Yeah. I, saw, I, I literally said it was coming in because I don't want to that. You want to go back to the cars? <laughs> <laughs> just go home. Let's just go home. I'm so cold. Well, it's been a cold and windy, rainy day, hasn't it? Honestly, yeah. what's that castle did? Yeah, honestly. Why don't you look on your map? See where we're going because we're just kind of wondrously, wondrously aiming, aimlessly wandering. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have a wander up to the castle. The I feel like we're a long way away from there, though. You know, like the last. Well, it time... said twelve minute walk last time I checked. I really wish that I brought like a hoodie or a coat or something. But how glorious has it been in the last like week? It's been so. It's nice. been so sunny, like twenty degrees. The day you decide to do something. The, of your, of the, day. the day we want to do something nice. <laughs> it's absolutely pissing it in. So, what's that? Got no clue. I think it looks like a stadium. That's what I was gonna say. It looks like the edges of a football stadium. Yeah. Or uh, still in walks, maybe. Maybe. But yeah, so I've dressed for like summer weather and now I'm cold. So. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just go home? <laughs> no. Not yet. <laughs> so, as you can see behind us, there's a huge, like, you can't really get near the castle, can you? No. Um, it's a huge block off. Yeah, and we're not buying tickets, so. I thought that was Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> but why is there a crowd there? It's not Jeremy Corbyn, it's somebody, I don't know who it is. Welcome to Edinburgh Castle stuff here. Um, but we got, we've seen it from the outside, but that optical illusion place is literally just next to us, so, so we'll try and get in there and see whether we can get in. I don't know if we will, though. Okay, like, I'm here. And I'm seeing myself here, like, oh. and I'm standing like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad, like. Okay, let's see. Hi. Hiya, we don't actually have a booking, but is there any chance we can still go around or no? Oh, wait, no, guys, we're here, what the fuck? Are you doing tomorrow by any chance? No, we're going back home. <laughs> Oh, never mind. All right. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Check there. There's also the ghost bus tour. They, they're on late as well. Uh -huh. uh, there's also Rose Street. That's a lovely street to go down as right. well. Right. Like street if you want something to do towards the evening. Uh -huh. uh, we've also got a scope group through, so even if you were open right now, we can do it in. Yeah. If you head there, uh, I may have something for you. I believe right. they've also got like uh, other tours they can let you know about. Just something right. to do towards okay. the evening. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you, that's really helpful. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm. Okay, okay, thank you. All right, thanks. Enjoy the right? Thank you. Bye. That was nice though, like, yeah. rather than just saying nowhere closed, they gave us loads of recommendations, so, so do you want to go on one of them ghost things or? Should we go down here or down here? Which one? That way? I like the look of this building, I'm going to have a look at this. Let's make a movie. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, they've got other things here. <laughs> Wait, but we're coming from here. Yeah, it's like an oh, opposite. Taking this from. <laughs> And then this one. What's this? Oh. It's a bottle opener. Oh, but this is warm. It is warm in here, isn't it? <laughs> we could stay here a while. <laughs> I kind of like this one, though. I'm digging this. Yeah. But I don't drink beer that much, so I'm going to be like, useless to It'll just be an ornament rather than. Yeah. Oh, actually, I'm digging this one. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you, but no, <laughs> I'm digging this guy. Though. The keys are gonna be so far. Look at that guy in the window, <laughs> he's, climbing. he's climbed out the window. Oh, <laughs> so <clean. laughs> you know, the upstairs window for our bedroom, right? Sometimes I think, how on earth am I gonna clean that? Maybe I just need well, to do that. You've got an inspiration, <laughs> try it now. <laughs>
But if you're up for drinks and a good crowd, raise your glass to the sky. Let's toast to that. All these people can stare. I don't care about that. This is my pity party. that we've noticed that obviously like being English and from like a big city mm -hmm. like we've noticed here particularly there's like a lot of tourists which I know we're tourists oh. technically as well but there's loads of um school like schools and trees, uh, um like, like people doing like the tours like tours yeah, around the like city part, uh, uh, what's the word for it group like group, group tours yeah, group yeah. Tours, yeah. So I think there's one over there, that guy with the yellow umbrella mm -hmm. with the microphones on, so... Um, and it's free actually. Is it? Yeah, that's what it says on the umbrella, free tour. Oh, well we could have done one of them. We just went into the, what was it, Mary King's Close thing and that was fully mm -hmm. booked as well. Yes. So, yeah, because... Uh, Literally, we have no luck. <laughs> Everywhere we've been going has been yeah. fully to be, booked. I mean, to be fair, I feel like you can, you can say good things in Edinburgh without having to pay for stuff like that. Because, like, I mean, we're just wandering around and I'm quite yeah. enjoying it. So, the, oh yeah. Yeah, oh. No. Oh. <laughs> um, but I think, are you hungry? I am actually. I'm getting a bit hungry actually. Well, um, I don't know, like, what's, what's the street food? Like, Brilliant. what's That's the street it. food that's okay. quite yeah. peculiar to Scotland? Do you know? Well, oh. Scottish, <laughs> <laughs> Scottish food is like haggis and stuff, isn't it? I don't know about it's street like food. Haggis, I mean, you didn't like that. <laughs> I don't know if they do like street food as such, but... I've seen like people just walking around in kilts and stuff like that. Is that how it goes here? Like, yeah. You just... Although I feel like for the city centre, people like, are probably... I feel like wearing his kilts, I'm going to wear his kilts. How? But I think the... Because I don't know how common it is to wear a kilt just wandering around Scotland. Like, so yeah, but because we're in the city centre, that, that might be people working. Like, it might be part of the uniform. But I don't know. Um, I don't want to walk in his kilt. No, but we're going to... Um, <laughs> We're gonna find somewhere to eat, I think, and then, yeah, but we're currently here. I don't know if anybody who's from Scotland or Edinburgh recognises this place, but this is where we are. So what we've just walked down. Um, really, just going to really find nice somewhere very nice to sit. Right. Yeah, it is really nice views actually, isn't nice it? Views. So, we've come to a place called... Red meets bread. Bread meets bread. <laughs> BMB oh, it's for sure. Oh, <laughs> um, I've ordered a chalumi burger, which I think is like, it's a chicken burger, but it's got halloumi and stuff on it. And, and then, and bacon. What have you ordered? I've ordered a chicken fried burger. Chicken fried burger. Fried chicken burger, sorry. Fried chicken burger. Chicken fried burger. Fried, fried chicken, chicken burger. burger. Um, that would be quite nice, a deep fried burger. <laughs> Because in Scotland they do, they deep fry like loads of stuff. Like they, deep, they do deep fried Mars bars here. Oh really? Yeah. So they're very unheard then. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a thing. Um, but yeah, we've just been wandering around for quite a while. Um, just having a look around and stuff and it's been really nice, so. Honestly, like, I mean, I would say we picked like a, I wouldn't say we picked like a wrong time to come, but like mm. we picked like the wrong time. <laughs> to come still yeah because like most of the places are like oh well, sorry we don't have any i think we didn't book anything didn't that was the problem yeah. Advance, yeah yeah but we just so. expect this to be this touristy Is yeah that what? i think i knew i knew that edinburgh was quite touristy around christmas because of the markets and stuff because i've been for that but i didn't know it was this touristy like year round yeah. um we've got to so, come back then yeah we'll have to come back and book stuff in we'll advance stuff, yeah. but it was pretty much like last minute trip so yeah um, but I feel like the day's flown over. I don't think I've filmed very much, but we've um, yeah we've had a good day. Do you think we do you think we'll wander around a bit more after this and then just go? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because it's we like go to the, that's what I keep asking. Oh, the hill. The hill. Yeah, I keep yeah. asking you every time, but you're like. You're <laughs> I, keep here, I keep you're forgetting. Here, I keep here. forgetting. Okay, we'll go to the hill because it's twenty past seven now. So that tells you how long we've been like wandering around. Um, so yeah, it's twenty past seven. We'll go up to the hill before. Oh, it might be nice if we could get like the sunset. 
if we get a nice sunset. I just want to see the hill. Yeah. I've been saying since, like, behind the hill, and they're like, just Yeah, yeah, we'll go, we'll go, and yeah, then... Like, yeah, yeah, let's just so, go down the street. Because yeah, there's so many nice places. <laughs> let's just down this castle. It's because there's so many nice places I keep getting disrupt, uh, distracted, so... Yeah. Um, after we've eaten this, we're going to go up to the hill, and then we're going to go home. Tell us what you've ordered again. Uh, the chalumi burger. Okay. So it's got chicken, halloumi, barbecue sauce, and bacon. I think. Okay. Do you have any inspiration in regards to what made you order the, drink, the food? What's um, the inspiration behind it? It look, sounds nice. <laughs> so you. <laughs> <laughs> I like halloumi to be fair. So. Right. Yeah. And but you're hungry. And, uh, and I'm starving. Starving. I've got right, some right, starving. tater tots as well. Right. Okay, so the second part of this video will not be publicized because we will be eating <laughs> like animals. <laughs> Afterwards, we'll see you. Right, we've just left the restaurant. I'm absolutely full. I'm really stuffed. You see what's It was nice though. though. It was nice though, but we're about to climb a hill, so <laughs> I don't know if eating first was a good idea. But never mind. Um, I think it's just up there. Are you saying, I just thought we didn't pass it when we were coming. No, this is it. But we passed it when we were coming to that side. What do you mean? Like we passed around it when we were coming. What, when we drove? No, like, yeah, when we drove and stuff. Oh, well. Yeah, so we're going to walk to the top of here. Hopefully, not get stitch. I think I'm going to get one though. Really bloated. Yeah, what? A stitch. What's a stitch? Like, do you know what it pains in your stomach? Oh. When you like exercise after eating. Oh, I get that when I box. <coughs> when you what? When I box. Oh, when you box, yeah. yeah I'm always like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Even from here, I mean, it looks, yeah, it looks better on in person, it but the view. Person, like... We're not even like up the hill, but. Right, this is where we came from, wasn't it? Yeah. Down there. And... Oh, it's nice already. Let's keep going. Yeah. That's the Great North Sea. So, I'm your tour guide. The Great North Sea? Yeah, I'm a tour guide, so she knows <laughs> nowhere in Scotland. Sea. So, like, so we've just seen the Great North Sea, yeah? And she was absolutely amazed by it. Yeah. She didn't know it was very big. She thought it was just like a puddle. Like uh, <laughs> a puddle? <laughs> like a small puddle. Just not... I showed her that like, this is very big, actually. You so, show me those TikToks that are like, yo, oh. ho. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and we can see the Great North Sea from here. So imagine it's not, just, it's not the Great North Sea, you know. What is it? It's just the North Sea. It's just the North Sea. So what's the Great yeah. North Sea then? Great North Run, you're thinking? No, it's called the Great North Sea. I'm no, the tall. Not. Yeah, am I not? Well, I'm the tall guy. I don't think you should be. <laughs> I'm the tall guy. <laughs> it's called the Great North Sea. Yeah. Ask around. But we've got a little way to go, I think. But, oh no, it's not actually that much further, I don't think. Is that the I think so. Yeah. Ah. Ah. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> you almost ran into me. No, I didn't. Yes, did. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. Most interesting thing so far is the fact that this car behind us has got stuck on the roundabout we think they've been drifting around this because um, you can see like the drift marks and one of them has got there's like a mini roundabout in the middle and one of the cars is literally stuck on the roundabout <laughs> Yep. Yes. 
Strength just pushed it off the air roundabout, didn't it? Yeah. It was me. <laughs> I was just saying, it's nice views here, but that's the most interesting part, I think, mm -hmm. from this, uh, from today. Like, literally, we've been eating burgers and stuff when they're here, like, <laughs> drifting saying, around the roundabout. Cheers, man. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm back home now. I just wanted to say as well, because I'm currently editing this vlog, we were obviously joking when we said that the car getting stuck was the most interesting part of the day. Obviously it wasn't, but it was just a, like an odd thing to say. I don't think I've ever seen a car like get stuck like that. But anyway, um, it was honestly, Edinburgh was such a beautiful city. I definitely want to go back when it's maybe it's a bit nicer weather. It was so windy and quite cold. Um, so I definitely didn't dress the part. But never mind. After we'd been to the top of Colton Hill, we literally just walked back to the car. We didn't realise though that we'd been pretty much walking in a straight line. So I kind of thought that we were doing a bit of a loop, but we weren't. We'd just been walking in, in a straight line and it was about half an hour, 35 minutes back to the car. So yeah, we drove back. We didn't actually get in till about half past 11 last night. So we literally just went straight to bed and therefore I didn't end the vlog. I drove home, he drove there and I drove home and by the time we got home we were both just so knackered so I didn't end the vlog but beautiful beautiful city definitely want to go back just so many like historical buildings to look at and just so many things that you can do if you book in advance which obviously we didn't but it would like I say it was a last minute trip and we just wanted to spend the day there have a look around and I feel like we had a really nice day so I feel like little like day trips like that to places which are fairly near I mean I say fairly nearby it's about two a two hour drive north from Newcastle it's doable to get there and come home in one day so yeah we really enjoyed it and I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for watching don't forget to go and check out Ritual like I say the link is in the description and thank you so much to them for sponsoring a portion of this video and I will see you in the next one bye guys baby let me love you let me love you let me love you let me love you 